So I'm also fixing my uh, Hypertherm uh, 600 Power Max today. Um, the circuit breaker packed it in. Uh, well, it didn't actually die of natural causes. My uh, son dropped something on it and uh, busted the handle and it wouldn't uh, reset. So what I had done was I just uh, bypassed the breaker. I just tied the conductors together inside. But um, what happens every time you uh, have a fault uh, or you forget to uh, have the air on when you turn it on, you've got to reset the power to it. So I have to keep unplugging the cord to reset it. So that was kind of a hassle. So tried to get one of these on, uh, through Hypertherm, but I couldn't really uh, find anybody here that uh, dealt with parts at that level. I mean, basically it was just the uh, consumables for tortures and stuff is all I could find. So, so I went on to uh, eBay and picked this guy up. It's not a, a drag match, but it's going to be close enough. Um, these are made by... Carlson or something like that. They're actually... Uh, these. They're used in the uh, marine industry. They're boats for our breakers, uh, panels for large boats and stuff like that. So this one was in within five amps of the original one. So called it close enough. Um, well, I had it apart here. I cleaned it all out and everything. So if you ever wondered what's inside your uh, plasma cutter? On this side, that's the uh, heat sink for the uh, printed circuit board and everything. So I'm just going to put this guy back together. So I've got the cover back on it. Um, I'm just putting the uh, air uh, cleaner back on it. Uh, this little guy here. Um, it's really important to be as clean as you can with the air coming into these things. Uh, if you got water in your uh, lines, it'll just chew up the consumables on the torch. Um, this goes into the regulator, um, and this part here is kind of flimsy. So uh, rather than plugging uh, this your airline directly into this or into the body of this, which creates leverage on that uh, fitting inside there, uh, I put this flexible hose on and then uh, I made up a cart for the uh, plasma cutter to sit on so then I've got this little uh, piece of aluminum angle there the uh, brass fitting goes through there and uh, that's where you connect your air hose to just takes the um, strain off that fitting in the plasma cutter so I've got the uh, air filter um, fastened back into the uh, machine um, this is what I was talking about as far as the uh, having the air hose connect um, this way. When you connect the hose and stuff like that, all the uh, uh, forces on this piece here, um, rather than if you had a, an air fitting off the bottom of this, it would, uh, if you're not careful, there's a good chance you could snap that off. Um, ask me how I know that. Um, so I got that part tuned up. Then also at the same time, uh, Took the opportunity I changed all the uh, consumables in the torch um, like you know everything that can be changed in there I changed it uh, these things seem to be quite uh, finickety about the consumables when they get to a, a certain point uh, they just don't cut uh, nearly like they should so um, had a couple of projects coming up where I've got to uh, cut some plate and stuff so I'll see how this thing works now